make some peanut butter sandwich. People have told me, oh, you'd never be able to live on your own drive and all this. Guess what? I'm living on my own. I got my own dog. I pay my own bills. I do a lot of things on my own. I have a TikTok channel that I make videos of me using a chainsaw. And my hands barely work. My fingers don't work that good. But I figured it out. People are so amazed on like, wow, how do you do that? I just do. <laughs> See, it's not that hard. It's called a little determination, and you got it. I'm Alex Post, and I guess I'm here to tell my story. <sighs>I was uh, born back in 2001, uh, March 18th, in Russia, in a small mining town. I was born with a rare genetic defect called arthrogryposis, which um, affects the muscles um, growth and a lot of my joints are frozen. Once I was born, uh, my parents got rid of me. Then I ended up staying in three different orphanages and eventually, about 2009, uh, a couple was looking to adopt someone and they started looking around and they saw my name and then they requested for a picture and they fell in love. So they started the process of uh, the adoption. The whole process took about a year and a half. I was probably about 12 and a half, 13 years old when I actually decided I didn't want my legs anymore. I mean, I had a, a bone disease uh, in the ankles, which caused a lot of fluid buildup. They stretched my leg to the point of like, if you stretch a rubber band, it'll eventually snap. So they stretched my legs to the point where I wasn't getting any circulation into my legs. So they were just dead weight there. I got the surgery about uh, two weeks before Christmas and never regretted it and they said if I would have kept my legs I would have probably been about six foot five by the time I was this old which I'm 21 now so yes they would have hindered me a lot more and I wouldn't have been living on my own I would have been living with my parents probably not even gone to college put your hands together for Mr. Alex Poe I'm a self-taught type of person. About two weeks after the surgery, they told me that I could take the bandages off and start putting a little pressure on the stubs. And they said I have to start roughing up my legs just so they can get used to the prosthetics. And then I also rode horses to build up my core strength so I could walk. Yes, I've fallen about 12 times and busted my chin open and I've almost broken my neck twice, but I kept pushing and pushing. Um, and the more that I rode the horse, the easier it got to walking. And then we moved to South Dakota and then I started school in Lake Preston. I graduated in 2021, uh, seventh in my class. During my high school career in Lake Preston, I uh, did Special Olympics. Yes, I have to do the skills portion of basketball or soccer, but it still feels like, cool, I get to do a sport just like anybody else does. Yes, I don't get to play in a game like a full-on game, but I'm happy the fact that I get to be a part of that with other people. They give me the opportunity, they don't give up on me, and they tell me that I can do it. All right, here we go. You know, playing those sports really yeah. made me feel like a normal person. And I, what is normal, honestly? What is normal? I feel like that I've been created like this to inspire others. Um, that's the key thing, you know. Um, I, I don't take this disability as like, oh, this is my disability. No, this is my ability. Here's what I can do. I can play basketball. I can play soccer. I can ride a skateboard and fall off of a skateboard and bust up. But I'll get right back up on there and try it again. I'm just that type of person. I, a disability, what is that? Like when I moved to Lake Preston, I wanted to 
uh, start my own landscaping business. When I was about 17 and a half years old. My parents thought, well, that's a crazy idea because I always came up with all kinds of crazy ideas. But they supported me. My family supported me. So I started that business when I was 17, almost 18, and I was still in high school. I mean, I could sit here and tell you a sob story, but I'm not going to because that's not what my life is. It went from a sob story to, wow, look at this kid. He can do this stuff. And it's like, people tell me all the time, oh, you can't do that. That's what pushes me. Because then I'm like, watch me. All right, all done. Ta-da. Well, before he moved to South Dakota, Alex's family lived in California. And Alex was an ambassador for the LA Children's Hospital there. And that came with some perks. He got to uh, meet the cast of the TV soap opera, All My Children. And he got to meet the cast of Grey's Anatomy. He says he wants to be an inspirational speaker someday, have a family, and maybe own his own home as well. Alex says, set goals and never let the naysayers slow you down. This has been Midco Sports Magazine presented by Build Your Base with Beef Sports Nutrition and Training Program.